Hi YouTube, my name is Heather and I am fascinated by anti-MLM or anti-multi-level marketing content here on YouTube. I want to use this channel sort of as my anti-MLM journal where I can talk about videos, MLM team calls, and other content that I find predatory or exploitative. exploitative sorry. And this video I wanted us to listen to a few minutes of a Beachbody team call from a top Beachbody coach who's telling his downline, the individuals that he recruited into his team, how to form relationships with people that you do not know online in order to recruit them. If you follow anti mlm content on YouTube, you would probably know that the way of recruiting has changed from the direct cold message saying, hey, join my team to instead forming relationships over long longer periods of time to ensure that the person trusts you and has a connection to you and then asking them to buy your product or join your team so the clip i want us to listen to is about eight minutes long and then i'm just going to give my opinion throughout so i'm just going to click play and then we'll get going is the form process the actual invite because you can send all these messages we talked they talked about someone that liked your post a new follower uh <clears throat> someone that sent you a direct message somebody that is watching your stories we gave you i gave you a few different scripts and ideas of how what what conversation how you can start that conversation but then the question that i think a lot of people get stuck at is they're like yes i'd like info on your boot camp and then a, a new coach is like crap what do i say next right like oh what's next what do i do and that's where i get the most messages uh i'm confused on what to do next so i'm going to maybe take a screenshot of this while i uh clear my throat <laughs> but the process i learned in the beginning was called form acronym for family occupation relationships and message Okay. And what this means, remember, when we're going into someone's DM, we're not jumping all the time right to an invite. We need to build that relationship. We're never going to do a cold invite to a random person we've never talked to. So he's defining a cold invite. Just say one of your followers or someone you randomly found on Instagram, you send them a message right away and you say, hey, join my group. Hey, join the business under me. I still think what he's gonna talk about is still cold messaging because you don't know the person before you message them. But as I said, this is the new trend in network marketing now where you try to form a relationship with someone first and then you go in for the kill and you try to sell them on the product or the business. So to build that relationship, this just kind of gives you an idea of things to ask about. Family, you can ask about their family, ask about their kids, ask about their spouse. You can talk, ask about their occupation, what do you do for work? That's the one I almost always go to because my main market is I want to mentor people in this business, uh, which has to do with what income, do they love their job, what are their financial goals? And so a lot of my conversations are around occupation. Uh, ask if they've always done that. Um, my coach, Lindsay, did very well at that. <clears throat> when we, When she was, Forming me, F-O-R-M, on the phone during my first phone call. Isn't that so gross? So with these Beachbody coaches who are trying to recruit you into the business or sell a product to you, they're forming you. So they're going to ask you all these personal questions. And you might think that you made a new friend online, but they're just pretty much forming a fake friendship, a fake relationship with you. So you trust them and you respect them. And then you're more likely to buy a product from them. So let's just listen about what he's going to say about how his coach formed him. And she found out that I wrote service manuals and ran the service department. She asked me if that's what I always wanted to do. And that question hurt so bad. So see the point of the O in the form asking about occupation is to determine whether or not these individuals are unhappy in their current occupations, whether they I think they have enough time with their families, whether they make enough income, whether they have enough vacation time. And it's a way to, in my opinion, prey on their emotions while feigning interest in who they are as a person to make the beach body coaching business opportunity more appealing to them. So I think this is just a huge manipulation tactic because we know a lot of people are unhappy in their employment and 
would love to have a different job where they make more money and have more time with their family. <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't intend to hurt me, uh, but it reminded me that that was not my goal of my dream. My dream was to be a professional musician or a professional baseball player, which tied along with, the, I wanted the feeling of uh, being on some sort of platform where I could inspire people, where I could be great at something and inspire people. So her asking questions about my occupation made me think like, huh, <laughs> I'm not where I want to be and I don't see how I can get to where I want to be in, what, in my current occupation. So um, occupation, you can talk about uh, relationships. Uh, so also his coach asked him about the occupation as a way to understand why he might want to start his beach body business and what his financial goals are as a way when the when he's struggling in his business he's not able to recruit he's not making much money and uplines can bring it back to what they had in this conversation so what you said you don't like your job you say you want to quit you want to work from home with your family you can't stop you have to keep going so while this form process where you're asking about family occupation relationships it's just a way to understand why you're unhappy in your current position so when you want to quit your upline can bring it back to those reasons that you shared with them so they can manipulate you into staying in the business even though you're in a business structure where it's designed for you to fail if you're at the bottom of the pyramid so it's just as i said feigning interest in who you are as a human to get all the information they need to manipulate you at a later date and then um, the last one is message. Make sure that you share your message. So my simple message as a brand, because we're going to talk coach 101, coach or invite 101, my simple message was this. You know, I found a, through a friend. So we don't really need to go through this part. We can end listening to him here. He's just going to talk about how he was unhappy in his job. He was working 12 hour days and his wife was working evenings and they were never seeing each other and he wanted to be able to make enough money in beach body to ensure that she could come home in the evenings and that they could have dinner together as a family and while he went from barely making ends meet to he's a million dollar earner he's pretty much at the top of the pyramid it's supposed to be inspirational and a positive thing however in my opinion it's just shows that he was recruited when he was vulnerable, when he wasn't making much money, when he was missing his wife, when his wife and him and his wife were parenting separately and they were not having those special moments together as a family. I think that's extremely, it's extremely predatory that someone would try to recruit him into this kind of business structure when he's in that kind of financial position. And he's going to talk later about how he when he gets on the phone with people who express interest in in the business opportunity or the products he will ask them all these questions so he'll talk ask about their family members his, their occupation and their relationships really gets to the root of their why these beach body coaches often talk about their why so this individual's why bringing his his wife home so they could parent together and have moments together in the evening They'll try to get to your why before you purchase products or start the, the, your beach body business. So again, when you're struggling, when you're not making money, when you're not recruiting or selling anybody, recruiting anyone or selling any products, they can bring that back and say, well, this is your why. If you quit now, you're never going to achieve your why. The only way you can fail in this business is if you quit, which is extremely manipulative. So he'll get on the phone with people that showed interest in the business or the products and ask them all of these questions. And again, feigning interest in who they are as a person instead of just going in for the kill and trying to recruit them. I personally think that this process of showing interest in someone on social media, of appearing to like someone and connecting with someone is extremely harmful and it's more detrimental to someone's 
well-being than just the straight cold message recruitment message i personally would prefer a beach body coach just to say hey do you want to join my team instead of pretending to like me pretending to be interested in me because especially during covid there's a lot of very vulnerable individuals who who are looking for connection looking for friendship and might be quarantining and someone showing interest in them online might excite them might make them excited and think they might have a new friend but it's all fake it's all so you can recruit someone into your downline and so this individual this upline can make more um, matching bonuses off of your direct recruits it's not necessarily because they care about you it's not because they're interested it's because in mlms you're a dollar sign so if you think that an individual you don't know messaging you on social media, maybe in Beachbody or in any MLM, just be careful. Don't give away too much information because it will be used to manipulate you later. So that's all I have is just a very short little video clip about how Beachbody coaches are inviting people now and how they're trying to recruit and how it's even more predatory than the direct hey girl message. So if you learned something or found this valuable, feel free to like this video or comment down below. Thank you.